In this video, I'm gonna be answering two important questions. The first question I have is, does this new TPU from Bamboo Labs actually work with the AMS like they say it does online? And my second question is, is this a good filament option for making airless basketballs? Obviously, the first thing I had to do was make a model that was specific to this TPU filament. It was a pretty dense filament, so the lattices are pretty skinny. But once the model was ready, I just had to put it in the slicer and I had to assign the supports as PLA filament and the actual basketball as the TPU filament. Next, I made sure to put a layer of glue on my printer bed, not only for adhesion, but also as a release agent when it's done printing. And now that that was all done, all I had to do is send it over to my printer to actually print. I have to say I was a bit skeptical. After trying a lot of different flexible filaments in the AMS and having really bad results, I got lots of tangles and clogs and all sorts of issues, but this stuff printed in the AMS no problem. As you can see in this printing video, it printed the supports and the TPU all together just fine. Now that it was fully printed, it's time to see how easy those PLA supports detach from the TPU basketball. It was a bit difficult to get the removal of the PLA support started, but once I was able to wedge the flush cutters underneath the PLA supports and pry up, it started coming off in chunks, and I gotta say it was actually very satisfying to remove. Now that the supports are off, we have our basketball ready to go. Next, I took it out to the garage for actual bounce testing, and the ball cracked on the very first bounce that I gave it in the garage. It's a big bummer when you spend multiple days printing one of these basketballs and it cracks on the very first couple of bounces. Well, there you have it. It looks like this new TPU from Bamboo Lab does actually work with the AMS, which is actually spectacular because this opens a lot of opportunities for people with Bamboo Lab printers who want to try different things with multiple materials, say different supports or just combining two different materials together. But for question number two, I think it's pretty safe to say that this is not the greatest filament to make airless basketballs with. I do have a little bit of this TPU left over and I was thinking about different things that it would work well for and my thoughts were an airless soccer ball or maybe even a pickleball. Let me know in the comments. If you want to hear more about this TPU for AMS filament, I go into a lot more detail on my long form video on my channel. There are still more filaments to try for airless basketballs so don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss those and I will see you in the next one.